hello everyone so in today video i will let you know what is the file upload vulnerability and how we can hack a website through the file upload vulnerability so this will be the practical in with the linux and meta exploit machines so i'm i will use two machines here and uh, you will also know about the weebly tool how we can use the weebly tool in linux right so let me show you i am using two machine here first is the meta exploit to linux machine and second is the kali linux machine right so kali linux is the attacker machine and uh, meta exploit is the or uh, is the victim machine you can say right so meta exploit why i run the meta exploit machine to i have run this machine to access the website so if you look and kali and if i open my browser so this is the ip of meta exploit machine through that i am able to get these all five websites for the testing purpose that means i have create a local environment for the testing purpose right so you can also uh, uh, make this in environment your local so if you not seen my last or uh, past video uh, about the meta exploit how, how we can configure that on local or how we can install that so you can visit on my uh, lecture that lecture and i will provide you the link in the description right so today we will test on dvw website so if i click here so username is admin and password is password by default these these are the by default credentials if i log in so you can see here i am able to log in the website and there are multiple things which we can test on this so guys here is the one tab dvw security so there are three type of security high medium low so in my past video i have already uh, showcased you how we can hack a website on the low priority or uh, low priority security right so today i will let you know on the medium and in my next video i will show you how we can hack through the high okay so i am setting this medium and submit right so this is the medium if i go to the file inclusion so uh, the include a file edit php so let's uh skull injection okay if we go to the upload file right this is the correct tab so if i so there is a uh, browse tab if i upload a file so i i am i should like i should able to get uh, to hack that website right so first the thing is first i will create the first uh, i will create the backdoor right uh, through the weebly and then i will uh, upload that backdoor into the target website right so let's create the backdoor so how we can create through the weebly weebly generate right and password your password so i have already create one backdoor so i will delete first that right so i will sell dot php or i will create another name okay so weebly generate one two three four five six and the directory where you want to generate that i want to root right and she double l cell one dot php so this is the cell one dot php if i create here so you can see this cell one dot php generated if you type ls and enter so you will find here is the cell one dot php so if you search here shell one dot php so i will copy that into the desktop so now here uh, this is in desktop now i will upload that uh, cell1.php this is the backdoor or uh, we can say this is the uh, script which will hack the server right so i have already created that backdoor and i will upload this into the targeted website so our targeted website is that uh, dvws so if i browse this and upload this cell1.php here try to upload so you will see no file selected or, or this file your image was not uploaded so site uh, restricted us to we we were uh, like we we will not upload the 
PHP file. This is only we can just only the J, uh, we can only upload the image file. So how we can uh, upload now? So for that we will use a tool that is Burp Suite. So I have already covered bur uh, about the Burp Suite how we can use in my past video. If you not see, so you can also look at that video, right? So now, guys, I will capture the request in this tool, okay? And I will modify that request according to me and will transfer or move to the server. So, for example, uh, if I browse again and select cell.php here, right? Up uh, before upload, I will capture this request here. This is the Burp Suite tool. If you are able to look. So this is the Peroxy tab in Peroxy intercept and I will turn on this intercept. So what will uh, happen? It will capture the request whatever uh, we uh, whatever we uh, like request on to the address bar, right? So I open that like on. So now uh, I have opened the or on the intercept is on, right? So if I try to upload, so request first go to the this burp suite, right? So I'm already select the cell.php file and try to upload. If I click on upload, so now you can see here the file is uh, like the request is come into the my peroxy or intercept in burp suite right so now i will find the file name so this is the file name but what happened uh, i have already uh, uh, discussed that uh, server not allowed the php file so what we will this is uh, we will forward that right or intercept off so you can see file not uploaded and we are getting error but if guys i will change the name of this php file sorry cell one dot php v name cell one dot php to jpg file jpg and rename so now my file my file name is shell one dot jpg if i try to upload now so it is up uploading it is uh, like selecting if I upload so it will upload but we need that file into the PHP format because this is the backdoor not a JPG file so now I will open Burp suite and on the intercept and click on upload here if I upload here you can see I have captured the request so this is the PHP encoded file so we now in this uh, request we will change the name of our file so you can see here this is the file name cell dot cell one dot uh, jpg so now we need to this php because this is the php backdoor so i will php right and i will forward this request and intercept is off so now can you can see here my file is upload even site restricted me to uh, like not able to upload but now through the burp suite I am able to upload now I will copy that path right and open the new tab you just copy your path here and the initial path one nine two sorry 192 dw or oh, this is the uh, hackable right this is, if we enter this so we are able to see our file but this will not anything on you on the screen right so what we will happen we copy that part and try to connect from the linux so we will type now we will and our path here i will paste that path and our password uh, which i have already given to the creation time one two three four five six and enter so here guys you will look uh, uh this uh, i am able to connect my back door and whatever i want i will check like i will check or read or uh, anything from uh, that server so if i enter ls command so you can see i am able to read the all file whatever i upload on that server right if i cd 
and ls so you can see i also read the all folder whatever uh, they upload on that server so now you can uh, i think i hope you are able to understand uh, the this is the file upload vulnerability how we can hack a server so now this is uh, like the server is hacked so uh, now you can say uh, how we can hack a server through the file upload vulnerability so this is the called file upload vulnerability with the medium security so in my next video i will let you know uh, with the high security and uh, for the another hacking video you can also visit my past lecture past lecture i will uh, give you the link into the description so this is all guys and we will meet you in my next video thank you